I asked Aaron Boone about your cutter in there, and he said it's like it was like Steve Carlton's slider. Just how would you describe that pitch for you today? Uh, yeah, it was on today. Uh, I was able to locate her to the both parts of the plate. Uh, got some, you know, funny swings, uh, soft contact, and I think uh, that's what helped me, you know, get through the, the the day today. He said he felt like early on he knew that you had that no hit stuff. Was there a point in time during this game that you thought, you know what, I, I think I might have the stuff? Um, I, f I felt like like early on I was attacking the zone real well. Um, you know, I, I feel like you never know uh, how long you can go without giving a, a, up a hit. Um, you know, after the fifth inning, it felt kind of special, and, and you know, I, was, I was just trying to, man to, to maintain it. When does it dawn on you that you had not allowed a hit yet? What point in time the game? Fifth inning, sixth inning? Uh, kind of like fifth going into the sixth. Uh, I kept uh, looking up at the scoreboard, uh, see where my pitch count was and stuff like that. So I knew I was in a good spot and, and you know, noticed that I, I hadn't get up a hit. So, uh, you know, it was, it was special. What were the emotions like in that seventh as they made you work a little bit? Yeah, I gave up two walks and, and you know, I was just hoping for, for a ground ball to play and we, we almost got it. Um, you know, and I was, I was lucky enough to get out of that inning. Nestor, so your career high number of pitches, I think, was 103 going into today. How long could you have kept going if your pitch count kept going up and you were still working in there? Um, honestly, I felt pretty good uh, going for, uh, back off of the eighth. Uh, I thought I threw like seven pitches, six for strikes, I want to say. Um, body felt good, obviously, when you know when the, the emotions and, and the adrenaline is rushing, uh, everything feels great. But now I, f I feel like I got hit by a truck. How <laughs> <laughs> did you realize that they did, hadn't scored any runs? Uh, you know, I, I, obviously going, like I said, fifth and sixth inning, I, I you know, I, I didn't give up a hit, so I knew they were, they, I didn't give up a run, so. Um, what about your team? I mean, you oh, ours, yeah, ours. Okay. Um, you know, I. Did you think I, about that? No, at all. Um, you know, my goal is always to keep my team in the game, um, and as far and as long as I can do it. Um, and honestly, I, I don't, I don't concentrate on their, on their part because I know it's very hard. And, and you know, if, if, if they're battling and we're battling, I, we'll, we'll come out with a positive, with, with a positive uh, outcome. Yeah, so that ball falls in uh, for the hit. What's going through your head as it, as it falls in? Uh, I thought I, I made a good pitch. Uh, you know, he fouled off a, a couple good pitches um, away, and you know, I thought I, took, I, I, I was able to take my shot in. Uh, being one-two count, uh, you know, I probably could have made a better pitch, but uh, jam shot, you can't do anything about that. Did Aaron tell you that once you gave up a hit, that be it, or did you were you kind of like crossing your fingers you might stay in? Uh, I, I knew I knew my, my pitch count was over 100. Uh, you know, it was over at a time where I gave up the hit, and I knew I was coming out. So. You got Nestor, close. What was it about the cutter that felt different today? When when do you start to feel that? Uh, is it in the bullpen, or you have to take that in the game? Uh, it was more like in the game feel for me. Uh, I, th I thought in the bullpen I throw well, but you know I, you, you never know how good it's going to be until you actually face hitters. Uh, and once they started, you know, uh, having soft contact and, and getting swings and misses, I knew it was it, it was going to be special today. Looking back at all the years it took you to get to this point, do you think there are any one or two turning points that got you to where you are today? Uh, you know, for for the past three, uh, the, the 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 three years, 18, 19, and 20, uh, were were pretty rough on me. Um, and after 20, you know, I I discovered some stuff on my pitches, and and you know, I knew what I had to be and, and what I had to do to 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 maintain that level. And you know, last year it it you know I broke out with it, and I'm I'm going to run with it. What did you discover? Uh, just a fastball and and, and cutter. Uh, those those has been the two weapons for me, and and I feel like the location has been big, and and obviously the 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 bump in the velo has has helped me out too. You've gotten pretty close on a few notes. No hitters in the minors, right? Seven, was it seven and a third both of those times too? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It was in Syracuse. I remember 19 before I got called up. What's that feeling like of getting that close a few different times? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 something that I feel like a pitcher, as a pitcher, you, you, you want to do that. But at the end of the day, uh, it's, it's very hard to do, obviously. And, you know, I, I feel like when you're in that point of the game, you give your, 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 your team a shot to win, and that's the most important thing. How much confidence is this kind of start to the season and the carryover from last year giving you going into going forward? Yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like I belong. Uh, it, it feels good to, to, to go out there every five days as a starter. Um, you know, but coming into the year, I, I was going to accept any role, and, and I was just happy to be here, and I'm going to continue to to do that. And why he thinks you're such a great competitor because it's been quite a tough road. Was there any point in which you were maybe wavering about continuing and going on? and Or did you feel like you were going to make it at some point? How do you feel now? I mean, do you pinch yourself and say, say I mean, right now you're one of the better pitchers in the league. 
you know, from where you came, that's quite a step. Yeah, I, I, I've always told myself, you know, I've been playing baseball since I was four. Um, I feel like that's the only thing I know how to do. Uh, I, I came out of high school. I don't have anything to, to, to fall back on, so I was going to, you know, ride this as long as I could. Um, and, you know, thankfully it, it, it started clicking last year, and hopefully I, I can continue to do it.